Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kimberly Joy, and I thank you for tuning into the Kimberly Joy Show. Now, before I go any further, I just want to give God praise. God, you are awesome. You are amazing. God, there is no one like you, God. You are the almighty God. You are powerful. Hallelujah. You are, you are magnificent. You are holy, God. Hallelujah. Heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool, God. There is no one like you, God. And, and I am honored to know you, God. I am honored to be called your daughter, God. I thank you, God, for this beautiful day you have blessed us to see. I thank you, God, for this broadcast. I thank you, God, for every listener, God. I thank you, God, for every blessing, God, you have given us, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we may not have everything that we want, God. Hallelujah. Lord God, but, but God, you are yet blessing us, God. You have blessed us, God, to just wake up. Hallelujah. You allowed us, God, to open our eyes today, God. And so, God, we just want to say thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, God. We honor you, God. Hallelujah. And we thank you, God, for what you have done in our lives, for what you are doing, God, and for what is yet to come. God, again, we love you. We thank you. We praise you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. First, I would like to invite you to a couple of my upcoming performances. The first one, I'm going to be in the play, Who Told You?, which is written by Sylvia Woods. In the play, I portray Prosecutor Janet Justice, who is seeking justice against the dream killers. You will laugh a lot, but more importantly, you will be inspired to take those dreams off the shelf, dust them off, and live. The play will be Saturday, July 27th at 5 p.m. The location is Word of Life Ministry Christian Center, 10555 Hamilton Avenue in Mount Healthy, Ohio, 45231. Admission is $10. My second event, Secret Sister presents a brunch and play. At this event, you will feast on a delicious brunch prepared by Chef Nell, and then sit back and enjoy the play, I'm Not My Mama, which I wrote myself. In the play, I portray Terry, a businesswoman, wife, and mother who is on the pathway to destruction. You will laugh, cry, and be enlightened when you see this awesome production. Now, this event will be Saturday, August 3rd at 1 p.m. The location is Pamela's Party Palace, 223 Dunn Street in Lachlan, Ohio, 45215. Admission is $30, and that covers the food and play. For tickets for both plays, please go to eventbrite.com and you may type in who told you or a brunch and play. Or you can stay tuned to the end of the broadcast for my contact info. Know yourself, be yourself, love yourself. This has become my personal motto, something that I try to remind myself as often as possible. Now, as I discussed last month, in order for me to be me, to love me, I have to know me. And in order to know myself, I have to know God. And in order to know God, I have to have a relationship with God. And in order to have a relationship with God, I have to believe in his son, Jesus. I have to believe that he died on the cross for me, for my sins, that he was buried, and that he rose again three days later from the grave. And I do. I believe that. I have believed that for a long time. In fact, as a little girl, I accepted Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. And that was the start of me building a relationship with God. Jesus said in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. And so as a little girl, I recognized that. I recognized that Jesus serves as our mediator. See, when we read back in the book of Genesis, we see that the first man and woman disobeyed God and their actions brought about separation between God and the entire human race. So we have to believe in Jesus. We have to receive him in our hearts, in our lives so that we can be reconciled back to God. When I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, he brought me back into a right relationship with God. In other words, Jesus has made me righteous before God. And over the years, as, as I've grown closer to God, he has revealed to me little by little 
who I really am in him. The most important thing we must understand about who we are in God is that we are his followers, that we belong to him. And in knowing that we are God's children, we must realize that God is calling us to be just that and to be that unapologetically, unashamed. As a believer in Christ, I am not to be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Instead, I am to let my light shine. Jesus said in Matthew 5 and 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Here, Jesus was instructing the people who were listening to him at the time, as well as those of us who are reading his words today, that we have a light. Yes, those of us who have received Jesus, we now have a light because we have been set free from the darkness of sin. See, sin is equated with darkness, but Jesus is our light. When you think of light, what do you think of, huh? You think of illumination, right? You think of something that allows you to see, something that guides you on your pathway. So as believers in Christ, we have a light that leads others to God. By living for Christ, by living the way God expects us to live, we are pointing the way to God. Yes, we are causing other men, other women to want to surrender to the Lord. So that's why it's so important that we are true Christians, that we live a godly life before people. We are to provide that example, that, that Christ-like example, so that more and more people will come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Jesus did not save you just for you. No, no. But Jesus wants you to share the good news of what he's done in your life. He wants all of us to win souls for the kingdom. And that happens when we allow our lights to shine by being who we are, by being Christians, by being people of faith. So I encourage you as I continue to encourage me, be the person God is calling you to be. It will help somebody just like somebody helped you. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. If you're ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried and rose again for my liberty. Please forgive me for my sins. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, I am now saved. I encourage you to attend the Good Bible Believing Church. You are welcome to our church, Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. We are at 7048 Fairfield Business Drive in Fairfield, Ohio, 45014. Sunday School, 9 a.m. Sunday Service, 10 a.m. Wednesday Bible Study, 7 p.m. You can catch my show again on Saturdays at 6 p.m. You may donate to The Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or paypal.me slash The Kimberly Joy Show. For questions, comments, prayer requests, to book me for speaking engagements, if you would like me to perform my one-woman show, or if you would like me to promote your business or special event, please email The Kimberly Joy Show at gmail.com or call 513 513- 417-0097. You may follow The Kimberly Joy Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and thekimberlyjoy.com. Again, my personal motto is know yourself, be yourself, love yourself. And now here's a throwback. This is Hezekiah Walker and the Love Fellowship Crusade Choir singing, Jesus is the Light. <laughs> 